In this Fusion 360 video, I want to talk about use of the web command. It has a lot of varied uses, so let's get into it. Let's start out with this dish. I want to put a web structure inside it. I'll turn on my sketch. It is a pattern, and notice the lines don't draw to the edge. It's not required. They're on a plane just below the lip of this bowl. Let's go to the web command. I'll put a window around it all to select it. Let's go through the icons. First of all, we have the ability to put the thickness of the web on each side of the sketch. Let's look at the top view. Notice it's symmetrical about the sketch line. It's a half inch wide thickness, symmetrical. You can also do it one side if you want. And it puts it to one side of it like so. Now, this affects this. Now, the next thing is how far you want it to go. Now, it says to next. So, it goes all the way down until it touches a surface and quits. So, it completes itself. You have an option of changing to depth. And then you can actually tell it a depth you want to go. Say, I want to go a quarter inch. So, it's only going a quarter inch down. Let's go a little further. So it's going from that plane of the sketch down only a half inch in this case. I can flip the direction. And notice it goes above the sketch, but if it clears that edge, it will go to the outside of the piece. Let's go ahead and make it a little deeper and show you what I mean. Notice it extends to the maximum size of that outline. So I've cleared my the edge of the part with from my work plane. So a half inch is as high as I can go if I reverse it. Now, if I tell it not to extend, it will stay only where the sketches are drawn. But most of the time I leave this on. So we extend it to the profile. I'm going to go back through all the way down. Let's look at another example, this square frame. I have a sketch that is drawn on the surface, right on the top edge, as you can see. I turn it sideways, you see it's right on the, on the top edge. And I'm going to go ahead and do a web. Again, I use the window selected, it makes it quick. And notice I have it two next. So it goes all the way through the part, through the back. So that is kind of making a grade of it. I have a symmetrical and it's half inch wide. So that shows it's symmetrically centered on the sketch. I have extend on, so it completes to the edges. I hope you're noticing that the sketch do, do not have to be complete because the extend curves will automatically fill in the missing part of your geometry. So your sketching doesn't have, does not have to be very accurate, just symmetrical if you want it that way. Now we could change this from to next to depth and we could then say okay how deep is it? It's still a half inch thick how deep do I want to go? Let's say I want to go a quarter. Here you see it stops a quarter inch in. That is an option. If I go a little farther, let's go to 0.375, and it's a little thicker. So you have the option of doing it all the way through or to a depth. I'm going to use the same frame and suppress the existing web and turn on another sketch. Kind of a, it's a polyline sketch all on the same work plane which is the top surface. Now if I do a web on this again use a window and I extend all the way it does just as we expected and extend it all the way to the back as well as all the way to the frame. Take this off and you can do just the actual pattern. Kind of a little artsy. But you can see the effect of extend, curve, or do not. I have it set to depth. I'm going to do it all the way through to be sure it's all the way through. Let's take a look at this circular part and a web. Let me turn on the sketch. Notice that this sketch is on a central plane right in the middle of the part. Notice it's overlapping. If I do a web on this, put a Window around it all, select it. 
it will automatically trim it. Let me turn off the sketch so you can see it better. Let me say OK and then turn the sketch on. So what you're seeing is working from the center plane all the way back to the, to the back as far as to next. Editing that feature. Notice that Fusion takes a few seconds to calculate because there are so many lines. Be patient. You could change it to depth and then specify how deep you want it. Let's say I go a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch off of the center sketch plane. You can also drag it if you'd like, but remember that is the depth from the sketch plane. Notice how I trimmed it. That's very important. The next one is a, a putting chimes in a boat. I apologize for my model. I just did a quick boat-like structure. And I'm going to turn on my sketches, which represent the chimes along the length of the boat. Now, they're slightly below the top edge, as you can see, the sketch plane. If I go to Web, select them all. Notice they are, I want them symmetric. I would like to extend them to the hull. And I'm going to make them a thickness of 0.25. Now, I, if I made them a depth, I could change the depth to, say, half inch, and they do not go to the bottom. But this is an ideal tool for putting in chimes in a boat. For the last example of a web, I'm going to add a gusset to this angle. Now, this one's exactly opposite what, it's opposite what you might think. If I go, the gusset thickness will be this way and the gusset depth will be this way. So let me turn on the sketch. There's my sketch line. Do web, pick on this. Now it goes to the end. What you need to do is cycle this to two necks and then depth. I'm going to turn it this way and do the thickness first. I have to add a little bit of depth to it to make it show up. I add a quarter inch. This is the thickness and that's where the symmetric is. As you can see, it's symmetrical. If you do it one-sided, it will be on the, on the bottom or top side. I could flip it to be on the top. But symmetric is on the thickness. Now, if I go the other direction, this is the depth. Notice it's one-sided of your sketch. So you can either put your sketch off center or you can make this the thickness you want, half of it. Say I want a half inch gusset, I make it a quarter. Then come back and mirror that feature. Mirror feature. Select the plane. And say OK. So I made a half inch gusset there. I hope this helped you in your modeling in Fusion 360 using the web command.